we have some rules for quantum mechanics and understanding how uh, orbitals work and quantum numbers, I want to use those rules to talk about what's called the electronic structure of atoms. And this thing you see here is called a photoelectron spectrum. A few, uh, sl a, a few videos down the way, it will start to make sense. But the basic rules are these, things that we already know. First off, electrons are described by wave functions. And remember, I gave it that letter psi in another video, but that they basically describe probability, right? It's a map of where an electron can be. And psi squared was the words I actually used. Those wave functions have four quantum numbers that we care about. N, remember that was something about size and distance. L, which is something about shape. Remember those were letters like S, P, D, or F. M sub L, which tells us something about orientation. And M sub S, which was a property of an electron that was called spin. Those four quantum numbers describe an electron in an atom. And taken together, we can start building those into a description of where all the electrons are in any given atom. And that's all that electronic structure means, right? Electronic structure is where are the electrons? What orbitals are they in? And how are they occupied? Again, how are electrons arranged when there's more than one? So how do I deal with these four quantum numbers? And what we need are a few more rules. And we'll get to this point where we have two descriptions one description here is called an electron configuration. And one is called an orbital filling diagram. We'll go through these in another separate video, but all that these are telling us are where the electrons are. There's two electrons in an orbital called 1s, two in an orbital called 2s, three in an orbital called 2p. This is just a contracted version, so it's an abbreviated version. And then the other way that we can do it is to draw the orbitals as lines. So these are single orbitals, and then every arrow, these little half arrows, are electrons. Again, the point is to just draw some sort of depiction of where electrons are. If we know where they are, we can start understanding how atoms behave and how they might form chemical bonds. And that's the most important part of all of this. So let's get started on that. 